Big Tuck said, my nigga Jay had the jag looking tight. Mm. I didn't know <laughs> who Jay was, but I, I believed that nigga. Top five defenders, yeah. Drug dealers, killers, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. But but I always wonder when that boy uh, Big Tuck said my nigga Jay had the jag looking tight. Mm. I didn't know who Jay was, but I I believed that nigga. Top five defenders, yeah. Drug dealers, killers, yeah. Um, with being doing what you did, what changed your life? What made you stop? Uh, because really, I had the mentality. I was like, I'm gonna do this till I get killed or. Right, which thousand, mostly ninety yeah, percent of them. I get a thousand years, whichever mm -hmm. one came first. Right. I was like, I'm gonna leave it up. I'm gonna ride this horse till the legs fall off. Exactly. And uh, basically, what ended up changing me is uh, seeing a lot of people you love die. Seeing a lot of dudes. I got an arm full of tattoos of dudes I used to run with on a daily. And you look up and these people start disappearing, and then you start thinking, I could have changed a lot of this had I been a better influence, you know. Then you start seeing these kids, and uh, I never forget one time it was a, a dude. He used to bring his daughter with him, you know, to do what he did. You know, it hit my heart because he dragged this little girl with him all the time. And I you remember, remember how old she was at that time? And she had to be about four, three. Okay. And I remember telling him one day, I don't know, some just, you know, first, you know, I had the mentality like, oh, well, no, it ain't me, that's it, that's on them, and that's BS. It's on you. If you have a chance to do something, you need to do it. Right. When God puts something on your heart, you better follow it. Otherwise, he's going to punish you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt it on my heart. So I told him, hey, look here, man. This your last time, dog. You better not bring that little girl back out here. You finna not grab him. Mm. You finna go get a job. You know, ooh. I said, you ain't finna be out here stealing, doing it. That little girl love you, man. You all that girl got. I said, man, this is it. I said, if I even think I heard about you being in the world, I'm going to do something to you. Man, that dude, my right hand. The dude went and got a job working for the city, cleaned himself up. His daughter graduated from school. I know he ended up passing away, but man, that dude straightened up his act. Yeah. Let me ask you this, man. Cause we you spoke on the jag looking tight. Uh, <laughs> I, this 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 verse that we we hear That's so a much. This it's, it's, this song in Dallas is crazy on that South Side the Realist. Yes, sir. And when he put you uh, in that verse like that, bring it full heat. Did you know that was coming, or did you see that coming? I Were you friends with him? Oh, yeah, that was my boy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But did you see that coming? Uh, he told me he was going to put a lot of us in the song because he was writing it. I mean, I was right there when he first started writing it. Okay. And then he was like, he was letting me hear it. He was rapping over the Tupac beat, and I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's tight. I ain't going to lie, I didn't think it was going to be like it, it is like, now. But it, it did. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.